Hello and welcome back everyone to another video of Flavor Spice Cocina. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a delicious Mexican breakfast. Um, very typical, very popular, and super easy. Chilaquiles, green chilaquiles. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to make them. Okay, so the first thing we want to do to get started is um, start boiling our green tomatillos and our serrano peppers so that we can have the base for our chilaquiles. So I already have boiling water ready to go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put those in there and get our salsa started. Okay, so the water's been boiling for about seven minutes and we're going to go ahead and um, put in our serrano peppers in there and our tomatillos. And we only want to uh, let these boil for about four minutes. We don't want them to get soggy. Just kind of change their color to a more olive green, a darker green. And I am making salsa, not just for the chilaquiles. This is my salsa. I'd like to have some left over for the rest of the week so I don't have to do it again. Um, so that's why you see so much. And of course, you know, the to tomatillos were peeled and rinsed along with uh, removing the stems off the peppers. So let those sit for about four or five minutes and that should be good. Okay guys, so the ingredients we have here are pretty much um, everything that we're going to need to make our chilaquiles. And you may notice I don't have a bag of tortilla chips. If you're using those, you don't know what's good for you. We want to make sure we keep it authentic. We are going to deep fry our tortillas and those are authentic chilaquiles. So no, no cutting, no cheating, no tortilla chips smothered in salsa. Um, I am going to dice some onion in just very thin slices and um, squirt some lemon juice, fresh lemon juice on top of them with a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper. And then we have sour cream, which we'll be topping our chilaquiles with, and then queso fresco, fresh, me uh, fresh Mexican cheese. And then we're also gonna need eggs. So let's get started while um, our salsa is cooking. We're gonna go ahead and start dicing our onion because we want this to sit in lime juice as long as possible. Okay, so you wanna dice into small slices like that. And how much just all depends on how many servings you're planning on. So I like to do about a half onion, maybe a whole onion, because um, I will use this also on other dishes later on today or tomorrow. <laughs> The oregano just gives it such a fresh and um, appetizing smell. Try it with, if you don't like it, that's fine, but I suggest you try it. Okay, so this is the color that we want our tomatillos to be when they're ready. Don't worry about the peppers. See, they do turn a little darker green, but that's long enough because otherwise your tomatillos will kind of start to rupture and we don't want to do that. We don't want them mushy. So we can go ahead and um, let this cool for just a sec. I'm gonna gr um, grab a couple garlic cloves, a little bit of onion, salt, to put in our blender and I'll show you in just one sec. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our garlic. These are very small uh, garlic cloves, so that's why you see that many. It's probably the equivalent to four large garlic, garlic cloves and then a quarter onion. And we are going to do a tablespoon of salt. We're gonna go ahead and put everything in here, it's fine. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is cut our tortillas into small pieces so that we can deep fry them. 
and not too small so that they're easy to manage when you're turning them on the oil. I'll show you. And so just like that, about that size. Okay. Okay, so we have about a cup of vegetable oil that's already been uh, preheated for about four minutes or so. So you wanna just gently drop in your tortillas. They should start to do that, see? And you wanna go ahead and do the rest. And then just gently stir to ensure that they are all evenly cooked. And you want to make sure these turn a golden brown before we get to the next step. So again, just gently stir. The tortillas will absorb most of the oil. So let those sit for maybe a minute or so before we stir them again. Okay, so we are going to crack six eggs because we are going to add eggs to our chilaquiles. There's uh, different options. You can do your fried eggs and add them on top. I like mine scrambled in, mixed in with the chilaquiles, with the actual tortillas themselves. So this is how I make them. Okay, we want to add a little bit of pepper and of course, some salt. And then we're just gonna whip our eggs. Okay, so this is kind of the color that we want our tortillas to look. And they're not all gonna look like that for, for the most part. That's what you want your tortillas to look like, okay? So it's slow. But trust me, these are gonna turn out so good. Just keep stirring. Okay, now we wanna go ahead and add our egg batter. And again, we're gonna just keep gently stirring to make sure the egg blends in with the tortilla and it's also thoroughly cooked before we add our salsa. Okay, so now that the egg and the tortilla are thoroughly cooked, our tortilla is nice and crispy, our egg is cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add our green salsa straight onto here. And you wanna make sure you're generous with your salsa. Um, like I said earlier, the tortilla absorbs everything so we want to make sure your chilaquiles are nice and smothered um, there's nothing worse than dry chilaquiles that may seem like soup but hold on and see the finished product stir a little bit and wish you could smell what this smells like it just smells delicious Okay, next we are going to refry some beans. So I've just cooked some whole fresh batch of beans. We're gonna refry them. Our oil is hot, not hot enough. I don't want it splashing everywhere. Um, you just wanna make sure you let your beans sit there in the oil simmer for a few minutes before we start smashing them. Okay, so we are going to add just a little bit of broth because we don't want them to be dry. And of course, their own broth. You don't want to add water. You want to make sure you use the broth that the beans cooked in because that's what's got the garlic, onion, and salt in them. And then um, every Mexican household probably has one of these. I'm not sure what it's called, but we don't use it to make mashed potatoes. We use it to refry our beans. And so you just gently want to um, smash your beans until they're super soft. And 
and little by little. This is not a rushed process. So this is what your refried beans should look like. You know, if you want them even, um, I guess more finely grinded, you can keep going. This is good enough for me. And um, this is as watery as I want them because you'll let them sit and they will absorb the broth and get a little dry on their own. So that's it. Okay guys, so our chilaquiles are ready and so are our refried beans. Now we just need to top that off so that we can go ahead and enjoy um, this delicious meal. I like to just put a little bit of cheese on top of my beans like that. And then on top of the chilaquiles, I do crumble it just so I ensure that every bite you take has a little bit of cheese. If you don't like cheese or you're lacto intolerant, whatever the situation may be, you can skip this step. And then we want to go ahead and add our onion on top like that. I love onion. If you don't like it, you can skip it too. And lastly, our sour cream. My choice of sour cream is crema oaxaqueña, just because I think it's the tastiest one of all. And voila, it's done. So this is what our breakfast, brunch looks like. Hope you guys enjoy. It can be an all day meal. I like it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, and you can add maybe some jalapeno peppers or whatever you want to this, but this is good enough for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more uh, videos like this one. Enjoy. 